just because you want to invest, don't invest at all costs when you know you cannot afford it. If you cannot afford it, you cannot afford it. So just start small wherever you are. Your small may be big for me, but your small depends on what's in your pocket. So by all means, start, start what, with what is comfortable with you. The fact that someone else is buying a big house in airports doesn't mean that you should if you cannot afford it. And there are all, always good sides with the other property types, with the investment properties, with the living properties. And so the good thing is that if you buy a property where the working class is, is, is they live, even if you want to buy it for investment, you can still make some money out of it. So a lot of my colleagues have bought properties that they don't live in because they bought it in locations, Pokwa, say, Adenta, um, Oyarifa, where people like us who are working, who cannot afford to live in airport, live. And so definitely there's record, um, ready market for people who want to rent out properties for their families. And so start, you may not make as much, but your investment may very well earn you more than an investment in, in airports when it comes to how much rental you, you get as compared to the initial investment you put in. So let's work out the maths and know exactly what works for you.